non-abiding. Whether one has left one's family to join the order makes no difference. What matters is whether you cling to things in the external world. If you cling to things in the external world, you will be like a wave, experiencing gain and loss, and then suffering will arise. If you do not cling to things in the external world, you will be like tranquil water, moving freely, with no generation or dissolution. This is blissful paradise. Not only should the mind let go of bad things, but it should also forsake goodness. If you can transcend good and bad, along with all relative opposites, you will be able to achieve a genuine mind that does not stir. Keep firm control over the mind. Don't let it be led astray by the superficial things around you. If the mind doesn't waver, it won't be led astray. When you view relative opposites, remember to renounce them as such. Don't let the mind linger, even for a moment. 